Hey guys, Book for the Night here, coming to you with another action figure review. This time we're going to look at a Disney Store exclusive Marvel Select Ant-Man figure from the new movie Ant-Man that's been hitting theaters now. <clears throat> I got this figure a little late because I think they uh, started coming out like uh, end of July. I recently, well yeah, end of, uh, early July, mid-July. And I uh, started getting this figure like two weeks ago. And I decided to get two. So I'll show you the, um, the two figures I got in it the video and, and afterward but um, as you can see here it says Avengers Initiative <clears throat> let me just bring it a little bit closer see here it says Avengers Initiative Marvel Disney Store exclusive you got the Disney logo right there it says Ant-Man on the side and then it says action figure in like different languages and you get a side picture of the Ant-Man right here on the side check it out looking very cool very nice Ant-Man uh, there is a description on the back it's just kind of the picture of Ant-Man <clears throat> I guess that's a prototype because it doesn't look like it has holographic eyes like in the figure, but yeah, very cool. That's the proof of purchase right there, so very cool. So without further ado, let's open up this bad boy and see how cool it really is. Okay guys, so here we have the Ant-Man figures opened up and out of their packaging. Uh, I bought two actually, just so you know. Um, just because I wanted to have one with Paul Rudd head sculpt and the other one with the Ant-Man head sculpt. And um, good thing I did that because there were some mishaps with, uh, you know... Um, the paint application and whatnot. So, but let's get into that in a little bit. Let's go over the articulation first. This guy has standard articulation. Arms can go in and out, uh, forward and back. He's got one joint here in the elbow. Can go around, rotate. Um, it's a little flimsy, but nothing to worry about. I mean, it's not like it's gonna fall off or anything. It's just kind of like a little loosey goosey. So, nothing to worry about. Hands can go in and out. I mean, up and down. <clears throat> He's got torso articulation, but can't really, oh yeah, I can move forward that much, move back this much, it's not bad. It's also got a torso cut right here, so you can move the torso around. It's got the nice belt right there, the belt's kind of movable a little, a little bit, so you can kind of move it around and adjust it as you wish. Uh, legs are on the T-joint, so you can go forward and back and in and out, no problem. You got a cut here in the upper thigh, you got double jointed knees, you got articulation in the ankle, and you got that sweet ankle pivot. And of course the heads are interchangeable, so you can have either the Paul Rudd head sculpt or you can have the Ant-Man head sculpt, as per your choosing. So, um, for the Paul Rudd head sculpt, you gotta make sure you get these figures um, in store because uh, this one's not that bad with the lipstick. Uh, it's got a little bit of, you know, charcoal on more on this side of the face than on the other rest of the parts. So I guess not that bad, but you know check out the ears the ears are like this right now check out the other Paul Rudd head sculpt that came with the other Ant-Man the ears are pink so that's kinda crappy it has got more lipstick on the upper lip than the other one as you can tell here and more pink on the other ear so uh, the charcoal is actually nicer on this one it just has you know those pink ears and it's got the lipstick on the face so I don't know but the head sculpt of Paul Rudd is very nice I think it looks kind of like Paul Rudd. Some people are saying it looks like Shia LaBeouf. But uh, it's a pretty nice head sculpt for uh, Paul Rudd. And uh, you gotta make sure you get a good Ant-Man head sculpt too because this one has like uh, the little paint bleeding onto the silver. As you can tell right there. And not that big a deal I guess. You could kind of probably wash it off. I mean uh, the main concern for me was uh, some people in the review saying, uh, well not saying but they, I saw that these red lines were kind of like sloppy painted. But on mine they came out pretty nicely. So, not complaining there. Uh, also comes with a bunch of different uh, pairs of hands. Where'd they go? Okay, here we go. He comes, they come with the relaxed hands that I'm kind of having in this Ant-Man already display. And this comes with the fisted hands already on him. And then he also comes with these uh, gestural hands. In case you want him... Uh, doing anything you know provocative ooh look at that uh, also another thing to notice about these uh, hand sculpts is they don't really have the little red button that's supposed to go on the on the index finger here but I mean anyone can easily customize it and put like a little red dot there or put like a little thing and glue it on there and make it look like a little red button that he pushes here you know? and then aside from that he also comes with a mini Ant-Man figure that's like super tiny. I have two, of course, because you know I bought two Paul Rudds. 
This one has kind of a little, you know, black going into the paint right there, as you can tell. Not that big of a deal, but it kind of bugs me a little bit. Uh, this one's pretty nice. So I guess I might display with this one, or, you know, display with this one. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the details still came out pretty nice on these figures, even though they're, like, what, an inch tall? But, yeah, very nice. Very good detail on these little Ant-Men. So, overall, I really like these uh, Ant-Man figures by, you know, Marvel Select. They keep making really good figures. And uh, aside from the flimsy articulation and stuff, it's not that bad of a figure. You know, let's take a look at the Ant-Man, the one that I didn't display yet. This one has nice silver line work right there. You can check out the detail on the bottom. Really nice detail right there. In the red. Check out the mask. Very nice. This one doesn't have the red bleeding onto the black, so that's very cool. And it looks like it's translucent. You can see, like, Paul Rudd's eyes in there or something. Very, very cool. And then it has these little cables, of course, that they go inside in the back of the helmet. You can, uh, s this one doesn't want to go in there. But this one you can, like, push it in. Because I guess one cable is long enough, the other one's, like, kind of short. I don't know why. But I guess, um, if you keep the head on straight, it'll work. But if you keep the heads on, you know, movement, then it probably won't work as well. Uh, what else? See, look, this arm is a little flimsy. It wouldn't even stand out there. It just kind of goes back in there. But no big deal. Uh, kind of a little silver paint right there, but no problem. Overall, really nice. Great detail on these Ant-Man figures. Definitely worth, you know, picking up too. Well, I don't know, I picked up too. But maybe that's because, you know, I'm a... I'm a sucker for these kind of figures. Look at that detail. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So yeah, what do you think of these Ant-Man figures, guys? Will you pick it up? Have you seen the movie yet? You should definitely go see the movie. Uh, I think it's a really good movie for anyone to watch. And uh, the Paul Rudd head sculpt is an excellent plus for the Disney Store exclusive. So be sure to definitely get these guys in person, though, so you can check out the detail and the sculpting work on, on these bad boys. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let me know if you like this review. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you want to watch more videos. I'll have more reviews coming up soon. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.